welcome to episode 156 of the Rustic Will Gaming Podcast. I'm your host and GM Alex and with me today I have... Ben Meredith. Bryn Monroe. Lydia Nicholas. <laughs> and I knew he said, and as you... <laughs> <laughs> it was bound to happen one day, but I was thinking about how fast you, t- you talked just then. This is Helen, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and who are you playing? Zolf Smith. Hamid Salah Harun Al-Tahan. Sell sidebar. It is hurting me. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> uh, you found a way to actually get on my grits. <laughs> uh, he's been getting faster and faster. I decided I'm not on board yeah. anymore. Let's slow it down. Well, the other thing as well is he he's did it. But then speed us up. We did it quickly and then didn't point at me. You know, you sometimes will reverse the order. So I'm like, I'm not going to say it until you point at me. Otherwise, yeah. you'll be hey. like, haha, I got you. No, I'm not annoyed at you. The slow ones in the room. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. no, I was doing Could the intro some... fast, but I'm going to do the rest of the entire episode like that. <laughs> cool. Let's okay. find some chill, Alex. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of chill, mm-hmm. we find ourselves outside of a moody cleric's door. Again? And it's weird. It feels like it's 2016. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of hard work ahead of me spinning up all of this weird stuff that no one knows about. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are all in the inn. Quarantine has all but failed, but in a comparatively controlled way. Yeah. And thus, I am going to pick up exactly where we left off with Azu knocking on a door and finding a Zolf staring out at a not stormy landscape. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Are you going to come downstairs? I, I, I don't know. Do you want to talk about things? I, yeah, I, I don't know. I, it, I, I tried and it doesn't do any good. And look, I, I've, I've only known you for like, what, two weeks? So, yeah, something like that. Three weeks, two of which have been either being your jailer or being in jail with you. The other week being life or death mm. at all points. So you know. I take your point. We don't know each other well. No, it's not. Yeah, I, yeah, it's just. I thought I would. I thought I was better than I had been, and um, seeing Hamid again has kind of brought a lot of it back. Because uh, I wasn't in a very good place when I left the first time, and I made some changes, and I thought maybe hey. This time will be different, and it's not. And Sasha isn't there, and I, I, I don't know. I, I'm now devoted to like hope and optimism, and doing what comes next so hard that I'm literally magic, right? Yeah. And that's weird, but it's happened, so it is. And yet, he's right. I, I, I don't know. It's it's something about... I don't know. Hmm. Maybe it's just I'm not, you know, I'm not okay. And I... I don't know if I can be okay. Well, I'm not sure that anyone is okay. I know. Yeah, I know, I know, I, I know. And everyone's going through... Like, all this is awful for everyone. That, and that's not, not what I mean. I mean, there is no normal way to be. Yeah. And I think... We can't always be in control of our feelings and our emotions, but we can control our actions, what we do with them. But I think this has obviously been really hard for you. So don't blame yourself for everything. It, it feels like you're piling everything that's ever happened on top of yourself. Well, yeah, well, I'm the common denominator for my own life, and I? So, you know. There are lots of things that are the common denominator for our lives. It's the world... <laughs> is a much bigger common denominator. I think it's much more likely that things that happen in the world are at fault. You didn't cause any of this. No, I I don't... I'm not blaming this on me. You know, it's just... I don't know. I I don't know if I'm cut out for this. I'm not helpful to other people when I'm like this. So I remove myself from the situation, right? I'm not... I don't need... I don't know how to be any different. This is me, this is it, right? I'm not... I can't wave a magic wand and change who I am. And yet, you did become so full of hope that it gives you magic powers. So something has... That's a concrete thing that has changed. And yet, 
here we are again. It's not Hammer this time, it's you, and it's not Paris, it's Japan, but it's the same thing. <sighs> so as has been standing in the doorway until now, and she's going to like come over a bit closer. And, oh, she's also very tall. Let me think. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely. <laughs> It's just a reminder, I am four foot three. Is there, is there like a, a chair? Currently, just to aid in imagination, Zolf is too small for the room he is in. Azu is too big for the room she is in. Azu comes crouchingly into the room <laughs> and does a little sit on the floor. What is it that you're scared of happening? Failing. Not doing... I don't even know if I can articulate it. I don't think you failed at all. I think that losing your temper sometimes is something that's very, very normal to do. And Hamid has been through a lot as well, as we all have. Yeah, it's just... Um, So... I don't know, his driving naivety about everything. Mm. Hmm. Just... And now we've got these kobolds? Yes, Because he's some sort of dragon lord? Hey, what's that? Can you not see the funny side of that? No. No, not at all. He's the son of wealthy people. He's the son of a banker. This is going to put him right back where he... This is going to be bad for him. I don't know. He has different influences around him now. Someone once told me that the point is that you try. That you try your best. And I think as long as you're doing that, there's... That can't be a failure. Mm. Mm. Yeah, well. And you know what? You've done some pretty amazing things. Look, we've only known each other for three weeks, so... And I've already seen you get hit by lightning. Yeah, sure. Look, I can... (laughs) Yeah, I can take a beating. Great. Take a beating. Bertie can take a beating. Oh, Bertie's the one that we don't like. (laughs) Yeah, the one that I'm not sad is dead. (laughs) <laughs> yes. Fine. I'll I'll come back down, but I am taking a back seat. I, uh, I I can't deal with this pressure, right? And maybe I'm putting it, and maybe I'm doing it to myself. So I'm just gonna. I, I will be there, but yeah. All right. So I'm coming down. Well, so that's an improvement, eh? That's what you wanted to happen. So. What I wanted to happen was to check that you were all right. <laughs> no. Um. Yes. Obviously not. But. I'm here if you want to talk about anything. Sure. Well, I need to get better at doing that, so thanks. So do I. And also, you did mention Sasha, and if you ever wanted to talk about her. Don't know if I can. I understand that. Anyway, fine. I'll come downstairs. Thank you. And the pressure is not about being the best, it's just... Yeah, I know. I've been... I've had a lot of time to think through all of the reasoning and everything in my own head. Mm. So, you know. All right. As you both head downstairs, Mm -hmm. I'm going to say Zolf heads out first, with Azu behind. The necklace that you wear around your neck (gasps) grows pleasantly warm for a moment and then subsides. (laughs) You did some loving! You got the finger guns from Aphrodite. (laughs) Yeah! Hey, I had some good loving. <laughs> I genuinely thought, and um, it was going to say, and the necklace, and the heart grew three sizes. <laughs> it's really heavy and awkward yeah. now. <laughs> oh, Clonk. Did a good care. <laughs> pew pew. So, we are going to jump back downstairs. Presumably yeah. the two of you enter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wild pointedly doesn't make a big thing of it. Fair. So. The rest of us pointedly don't make a big deal of it. <laughs> <laughs> As it does a look that is like, do not. <laughs> Hamid will give, will do his best to give Zolf a friendly smile. It does not get a response. Yep. No. That's fine. <laughs> oh, she was so broken. Oh, let's wash it together. It's killing me. <laughs> <laughs> Softly with our song. <laughs> So, 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 so. Now that we're all at the table and so on, I am still thinking it's a good idea for building the thing to take a while. Yeah. yeah. Mostly from safeguards that you're building in and blah, blah, blah. I'm going to give you bonuses for him not to turn into a giant creature that eats you all. There you go. Okay. Cool. Um, cool. But in the meantime, does anyone have anything to raise at this sort of 
this is what we're going to do, we're going to build a thing and then interrogate? Mm. Or am I okay to accelerate to the end of quarantine on the assumption that everyone stays within the inn's grounds, let's call them? Yeah. There's enough food and supplies, it's deliberately always stocked for an emergency prepper kind of situation. People can just have a chill couple of days and then return. Take a lot don't, don't, of do, don't believe you. Yeah, Zolf is not. I said the option. No, I'm saying Alex. There. I don't believe Alex. <laughs> yeah. It's not true. It's never happened. Between now and the end of your open quotes quarantine, close quotes, is there anything that people want to address, or should I just skip? <laughs> I'm not addressing anything actively. Oh. Oh, funny. <laughs> hmm. As who's not going to press anything with Zolf. But she's just going to be visible in Zolf's eyeline a few times a day <laughs> to be like a glowing pink reminder that there is somebody. You'll around. get like half hearted thumbs ups and stuff. <laughs> like, yeah, you're yeah. not going to press anything apart from flowers in his eyeline so that he knows you're there. <laughs> <laughs> As you might talk to Hamid, though. Sel's going to yeah. try and build more bridges with the kobolds. That's like, fine. Trying Aww. to learn more about, like, Sel. So that's an interesting dish. They all just start teaching the heck out of Draconic to you. That's <gasps> really cool. Yeah. I'm like, really enjoying really it. Really teaching the heck out of it, and it yeah. becomes kind of a useful tool, should you want it, mm. for, can I not have you guarding me while I have a bath? Mm. I mean, Time that's, for a Draconic lesson. Yeah, yeah, but that's also going to be my thing, is I want to assist Sel, but... Almost more than that, I want to encourage the kobolds to assist Cell because it will quickly become apparent that I'm the stupidest person in terms of engineering out of Cell, all seven kobolds and Hamid. <laughs> but he will happily play that role in order to help everyone else relax and get to know each in other In which better. case, I'm actually going to answer some of the stuff with Hamid and Cell first, then return to the Azure yeah, Hamid yeah, conversation. Yeah. In terms of the Draconic stuff, it becomes immediately apparent to you every single one of these kobolds is a prodigy when it comes to engineering. Okay, cool. um, you know, rub out bit of draconic. Yeah, you can, you, can, you, you can now have passable because you're a very quick study. They're quite good at teaching it, but they are they, they are genuinely prodigies. They could have yeah. been born with spanners in their hands. Like, oh my God, they're good. Yeah. And it doesn't seem like there's one or two of them that are exceptional. For the most part, they just seem to have a natural understanding. I don't mean that they're necessarily going to be like invaluable assistants building the next mm. eon of, of technology, but what they are is understanding in a way that most of the people that you speak to kind of look at you blank and then say demi mecha squid mm. Mm. they're not that they they seem to have the knack in terms of the hamid stuff cell is going to sorry mm-hmm. gently now they very carefully have not directly asked about what the, the cobbles were being made to do mm-hmm. in their science cobble time mm-hmm. but gently begin to try and pry out what sorts of experiments were at like what the things they were doing when they were drugged and were doing science like oh what kind of so what sort of experience with potions stuff have you have you had what kind of what sort of like have you seen a mechanism like this before i'll answer this then bounce to hamid it's not especially productive Mm. they were deliberately shown how to do stuff Mm. not how it worked or why. So it was a lot of pr- smart and so bear with me. The so there was yeah, there was a lot of procedural stuff. However, generally speaking, in the last six months it was basically business as usual, just churn out what are effectively steroids for the MOOCs. Right. Combined with general maintenance on the place. Mm-hmm. But it's worth bearing in mind that they openly stated we were doing lots of maintenance towards the end and that was mm-hmm. all they were doing because the right. thing was breaking down yep. faster than it was being maintained Anything. in the early days yep. they again. were um not just building the place yep. they were doing both actively helping source mm. ridiculously rare ingredients mm. and also yeah the whole like oh some adventurers are happening all normal business is suspended let's go full dungeon master mode kind of thing were did they build any krakens because someone needed to have been building the krakens uh, none of the ones here did okay. but they know that some of them did ah so there you go, there's an answer to the who built the Krakens and when they were built. In terms of the Hamid stuff, they are very, very wary of you. Yeah. And it becomes apparent that with the exception of Skrark, most of them it seems to be coming from a, a place of basically presumed fear. The first while that you were with them, it's a lot of stuff like, you know, you maybe see Zolf and uh, you just give a sigh. Any any kind of minor negative emotional response whatsoever, they are so hypersensitive mm. and over-focused oh. that it's just the minus thing. They're immediately like, on guard, 
he hasn't exploded or like killed someone or set fire to the building. Hamid oh, this is okay. Is probably going to overcompensate a bit then yeah, if yeah. he notices that. That He'll unfortunately sort of relentlessly that un- positive. That unfortunately puts them on edge even more oh! because they recognise that you are faking it. Oh, uh, eventually, yeah, I'm not going to RP this. Skrark intervenes and says, "The best thing that you can be is absent in a way that they're not suspicious of." <laughs> That's ge- genuinely his advice. Pretty much boils down to be around the place. I will thank him profusely for that advice. And rather than joining in with the assisting Cell sessions, I will be like, I think you guys should help out Cell while I go and do something else. And like, and like, be still even in the same room, but at the other end or in the same building. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah. it, it gives them something to do. And it's like, I've given them an order, but mm-hmm. they get to relax away from me. Skrark too. turns your gentle suggestions into hard orders. Yeah. Uh, Skrark's quite forceful in a way that at first seems quite harsh but none of them seem to take any umbrage with it whatsoever. And the way that he gets around it is he just tells all the others, I'm his guard, you're here to help me, I'm looking after him, so you don't look after him. And that's enough to Mm. separate that a bit. They're excellent at teaching you just chronic, just Mm. all over it. And Cell is just so gentle with them, Mm. is like... It's the it's you know, they have they've dealt with a lot of young and unsure apprentices in their time. (laughs) And they're not that. When it comes to, like, they're quite confident, bordering on overconfident, whenever Hamid's not there. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, but, like, Cell has dealt with a lot of traumatised, like, creatures. Yeah, yeah. In lots of, yeah, it's... Uh... And then to bounce on to the Azu Hamid conversation, mm-hmm. that feels like one to RP as opposed to one for me to kind of sail on. <laughs> yeah. Pick a time and a place. Quarantine is not finished, but we'll assume it's imminent. <laughs> Somewhere quiet and away from Zolf. Because I need to talk to you about Zolf. <laughs> 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 Sorry, for it. some reason I had a, a, like a snap take in my brain of Azu going, he's going to get you. I don't know if it's today. <laughs> I don't know if it's tomorrow. But I would watch my back, man. He is, yes. he is gunning for you. We need to talk about Zolf in a we need to talk about Yeah, Kevin. that's exactly <laughs> what I was... No, it's what it triggered. Hamis, can I talk to you? Oh, yeah, of course. Yes. Hi. How are you, how are you doing, first of all? I'm okay, actually. It's... I mean, it's a lot to get used to, isn't it? I say gesturing quite obviously. <laughs> but I think it's going to be okay. They, they they seem to be coming out of themselves a bit more and they're really enjoying working with Cell and I just I want them to be less scared around me. And but I think you're doing a really good job. Thank you. I'm trying. I know. How are you, how are you doing? Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> I haven't thought about it. <laughs> Uh, so you can't be too busy looking after everyone else to look after yourself. We've been through a lot too, and mm. it never stops, but that doesn't mean we have to just ignore what's happened and carry on. No, and we haven't really talked about it yet, but there's something a little more immediate at the minute. Oh, okay. Um, I think Zolfi is going to have a breakdown at some point. Oh, what, what, what do you mean? He is extraordinarily anxious about... Uh, th- he, th- he thinks that he's going to fail us in some way. And, I mean, I don't know if you've spoken to him already, but... Well, not not since we were all in the actual cage together as such. Um, mm. Look, he... I knew him for a while before, obviously, and he was always struggling with stuff, and I never knew how to help him, and he's always... He does a much better job than he gives himself credit for, and he yes. second guesses everything. And I've never known how to. I wasn't. I tried to help him acknowledge that, and it never quite got through. And in the end, it meant he did leave. Mm. And don't want that to happen again because I think. I don't think it will, but just be aware. I suppose he's very concerned about his relationship with you. How, how do you mean? From what from what I gather, he he feels that he used to I don't know snap at you and. Well, you've seen th- yes. how he is. I mean that is but he a, thought a lot that different. He thought that he'd grown past it, I suppose. And well, it's hard sometimes, isn't it, when you had a certain relationship with someone and then you don't see them for a while and you're thrust back together. You you tend to adopt old modes. I remember every time I visited home, it was hard not to be the. You know the kid that I used to be, even though I felt like. When I was away from home, I'd grown out of that. I think that's something similar that's happening here. He, I just, I just want to let you know. Well, thank you. I, I appreciate that. I don't. 
he seems sorry about whenever Of course, he I don't hold it against him. I mean, but he just doesn't know just... that. I suppose. But maybe you should talk to him at some point. I don't know what I'd say. I mean, there's so much history there, and it is difficult between the two of us because of what we've gone through, and I do feel like we clash a bit more often than I would like. It's tough. Um, Do you think it would help him? If you find him in the mood that I found him in, possibly, he seemed willing to talk about it. I just... I don't don't think it could hurt. (laughs) Where's that naive optimism now? (laughs) Handing it around like a hot potato. Look, as he thinks the communication can solve everything. Yeah, that's fair. (laughs) Oh, okay, I guess I'll... I'll try and... Maybe not now, but if he... You know, if he talks to you, like, just, you know, I'd be nice to him. <laughs> of course, I, I of just, course. I, I'm worried, that's all. And you've known him longer than me. Okay, yeah, I'll I'll try and find a good time to have a, have a word with him, I guess. All right. Can we talk to the Borb now? <laughs> yes! I forgot about the Borb! No, <laughs> you can't, because there's one last thing to deal with before the Borb. Ooh. <laughs> Hamid, Before the Borb. Hamid. Bibob. Az- <laughs> so Bibob. <laughs> Hamid, Azu, and Zolf only. Oh. Wild. This is of an evening after dinner. It is the last night of your quarantine before basically the, the first day of not being quarantined. And like, to all intents and purposes, you're clear. Like, the, the, the week is a fairly arbitrary one, and Wild seems to have just the door the kind of the, the thing has swapped in his eyes mm. he comes and he knocks on each of your doors in turn and invites you down to his office for a drink and a chat he doesn't say it in an ominous way <laughs> I need to spell when that when your boss says we need a chat like that's I mean you've oh. definitely said it in an ominous on, way that's why, that's why I have to explicitly state he's Terrifying. not being ominous he's like, you're being ominous he, he's knocking and it's more along the lines of I think it would be a good idea if sure. the three of you and well, are you going to break up with <laughs> no, we're just having a one-to-one. But he he will he he, he will wait comes quick in the before diary. A performance Five review. minutes before he will Weirdly, wait. all the diaries afterwards get the, all those calendar appointments get cancelled. Strange. It's going to be fine. In his office, he has laid out a whiskey tumbler for each of you, and he's poured one for himself, and he's he's waiting if you all choose to go meet him. Yeah. yeah. Does he imply that it's just him and the, the person he's talking to? No, he implies that it is all three of you. <sighs> he also, <laughs> uh, for Zolf specifically, I'll say this. I think it'd be a good idea if you, Hamid, and Azu join me in the office. It's not to clear the air, it's for something actually... Business. Basically. Fine. He only does that for you, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Do you head down? Yeah. Okay, so the three of you are there. He, he gestures quite warmly for you to have whiskey. Thank you all for for joining me. Um, I have a bit of news. It's not it's not bad news, but it is big news, and it happened while you were in the institute. Hamid Hamid reaches out, grabs the tumbler of whiskey, and clutches it like it might be a life raft. <laughs> what is it, Wild? You'll all want to sit down. Um, <laughs> As he sits down. <laughs> so, it's extremely unusual, and there's been a slight delay in terms of delivery due to the nature of things as they stand. Can Azu hold Hamid's hand? Yeah. <laughs> Hamid swaps the tumbler of whiskey back and forth a couple of times before he realises which hand he needs. Nice guys, get on with it, Walt. So... This isn't me being deliberately um, tense, it's... <sighs> the Temple of Aphrodite provided yes. a letter to the Harlequins, which has taken a while to filter through to us. It has been opened. I've had to read it myself. You know the standard procedures. Um, it was sent... I, I, get on with it! I'm trying... <laughs> it appears to have been written in ancient Rome... <gasps> and held the seal of their founder, Ava Haskangas. Okay. <gasps> Hamid, I think you should... Who, who wants to read it? What, what, what is, is it? it? Wild starts to read. All right, mates. 
sorry about the Auroribus. It's been so long that you all speak Latin in my dreams. But you know I wasn't all that good in English to start. No, no, I can't do this. <laughs> Wild doesn't try to stop you. Ham- Hamid's jaw is just hanging open. Am I okay to continue? As it grabs Hamid, and I'm not just holding hands, just like grabs. <laughs> I can stop if you all want. No. I got no proof you made it back, but I believe you did. You did. I, I believe that you're... that you're okay somewhere. I am. Uh, we landed back in Rome right when it was falling apart. Uh, there was fights. Grizzop took a spear that was meant for me, and then he took more. I light candles for him at the temple every year. They tell me that he's happy somewhere on a celestial hunt, and I believe that too. After everything was destroyed by the dragons, I found a home and a friend. So much was ruined, and a lot of people was also lost, and so we took them in too. Some of them were so small that they didn't have names or they couldn't remember them, but they've grown up now. As who was my best locksmith, a grizzle turned out all calm and quiet. He loves plants and growing living things. A cleric of Opis. I hope other grizzle would be okay with that. Uh, Amidus used to help me out with the business side of our security work, uh, but he's busy with his own twins now. They're exactly your height now, Hamid, and they call me Ava. No one here could pronounce Zolf. Uh, we ended up calling him Sagax. His excellent knife work when he's not busy arguing. I think they'd get on. A little wild has caused me so many headaches you would not believe. Bertus teaches the kids acrobatics now that I'm getting too stiff. I wish so much that you could meet them. Sometimes you can't save the world, but you can save a person. I believe that I'll see you again and get to tell you that. Light a candle for Grizz up for me. Thanks, mate. Who's asking us? Sasha. Sasha. Lolonk. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> and on that, we'll take a break. Yeah. And welcome back. We all happy, cheerful, yeah, everything good. I, 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 that whoever wrote that deserves an award. Yeah. <laughs> but I guess we'll just never know. Never know. I wanted to hear more about that Grizzop guy. <laughs> <laughs> so I am going to pick up exactly where we left off, which is letter reading finished in the study with Wild. Hamid dropped the tumbler of whiskey without drinking it. He is weeping and sobbing and clutching mm. at Azu. Oh, Azu holds him. Wild um. folds the paper, leaves it on the desk. She'll be missed. And then stands and leaves the room in a calm manner, not a strident, <laughs> I'm making a point manner. Well, Azu will thank him before he goes. <laughs> he gives a he gives a nod and, and mm. leaves you two to it. Azu does a pat. <laughs> <laughs> I think that she is shell-shocked. I can't... She, she was okay. She... Sounds like she lived a really long life that she liked. Yeah. Oh, Hamid. Um, I think Grizzop went how he would have liked to. Sa- saving, saving Sasha. Yeah. Well, I wish we could have got them both back, but it's so, it's so good to know. Yeah, I'm really glad that they're not just, you know. It could have been so much worse. I'm... Yeah. What do you want to do? I don't know. Um, oh, where did that whiskey go? <laughs> <laughs> I feed Hamid whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a sensible point to close the curtain on that scene. Well. No, 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 no I'm not going to cause more problems. <laughs> There's a fire at the inn and Zolf yeah. says, enough! Yeah. No, 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 so once they leave, mm-hmm. I have just been hanging about outside, uh, and as soon as they're gone, I go in. Sure. Unless any of the others had a reason to wander off with it, I'm going to assume it's still on Wild's desk. Yeah. Mm. So I read the letter. Oh, I'm going to oh. hu- give Wild a hug and thank him as well. Mm. He didn't fight it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best you can hope for. Yeah. 
And also, I just give Azzy like a hundred hugs. I think the, uh, you've just been like attached to me. <laughs> <laughs> Wild says one thing to both of you. Mm. Do you know the really odd thing? The bit I can't really get past. Mm. Technically, I think that makes Sasha my boss. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think everyone at the table might have missed an impertinent piece of information in the forum. Nope. No. Was something to do with the names? No. no I'm not going to give Hamid something to do anything. with the position. I'm not going to give Hamid any of the info because I'm going to assume that Hamid was way too tense oh, to yeah, spot it either. Oh, yeah, makes sense. So, yeah, Wilde just says that to you, cryptic comment, and wait, I wonder off. what? He, he leaves. <laughs> we can worry about that later. In which case, then, if Zolf's able to read the letter fine. Yep. Grand. Sure. Azu has gone and lit two candles. Ah! Oh, that's oh. nice, and there would be a shrine as well. That makes sense. And a bit of incense. Mm-hmm. Does some meditating and praying. Ah, Look at you all being competent people. So, I mean, I three, three, three out of four. Yourself, <laughs> mate. Yeah, three out of four. Grieving! Yeah. <laughs> Grieving's healthy. Yeah. Good at grieving. <laughs> God. Zolf's bad at grieving. So I, I'm grief filled, but you're grief skilled. <laughs> Oh, no. So I'm going to jump time ahead. So if you're doing anything in the evening, I need to know. Otherwise, yep. it's going to be the next day and it's going to be exposition time. Yes. <sighs> I go and grab another oh. bottle of nice, strong whiskey from one of Carter's stashes. <laughs> and I'm going to go and knock on Zolf's door. Oh, man! With, with two glasses. Never going to get to talk to the bob. <laughs> <laughs> Lydia, I think... Feel your pain. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> I walk into your room. I put the two glasses down on whatever surface there is. I pour two large glasses. Oh. One slightly larger than the other. I hand you the larger one because mm. you are larger than me. Hey, Hamid. The letter is on the bedside table. Cool. I will not acknowledge that. You're a big idiot. <laughs> okay, not how I expected this to start off, but fine. I hold out my glass and just go, to Sasha. Yeah, yeah. to Sasha. And clink it. Aww. And I, I drain it. As do I. <laughs> I will then pour another one. <laughs> I'm actually going to get drunk this time. There's a reason all of this has been based in an inn. I chose <laughs> yeah. very carefully. Very carefully. So, what, mate? Yeah. So, if you have to remember that you're my friend and you're my role model for all of this and you don't need to worry so much you're doing fine and just because I say when stuff's getting on my nerves and things it doesn't mean that you're you're bad and wrong it's just stuff to work on like I've got stuff to work on okay um it's um yeah this isn't about me getting you upset uh, so, you ain't got to worry about that. And, um, uh, look, if I hadn't read that letter just now, then I probably wouldn't be talking to you, to be honest. But, look, just... Uh, We've got to find yeah, a way to work together. Right? This is not a... Uh, we talk it out and it's all fixed, OK? I know! No, we, but, thank you for sharing the drink... Thank you for coming to see me. I'm going to work on it. For now, let's just call it there, all right? So, I was so... I was so angry at you. What for? For leaving. <laughs> leaving and then... then My sister died in Prague and Sasha was nearly dead. And I was so angry, but I do get it. I do get it, Zolf, and you've changed, and I can see how much you've changed. And you're doing so good, and you... Zolf... I don't know what I'm saying. I just... I hate that we can't get on. All right. Then we'll work on it. Why don't you just look, just... I don't want you to leave again. I'm not going to leave again. So just... Oh, you're a lightweight. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Look at me, I'm tiny! You're tiny, you're like 20 years old. Yeah, but you're pouring yourself appropriate portions. Look, just... 
Go get some sleep, right? Just... I know. Tell me it's going to be at K's off. I hope it's going to be okay. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to roll for that. I'm going to rule for that. <laughs> and unconsciousness claims. <laughs> Fair. And I will heft him back to his room and Aww. put him to bed. It's... Very easy. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> oh no, you're forgetting one extra element. Deep down, when unconscious, Hamid is very good at being carried. It's not just that he's small. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Helpful tough He cuddles in right. He kn- he knows how to be looked after. <laughs> That's how we know when he's dead. <laughs> if he's actually dead waiting, he's not unconscious. Oh, bleak. <laughs> very horrible. That wasn't even me. No? Terrible, terrible man. Yes. Mm. Right. Lydia, shall we? Actually, yes. I want to do something else. Just you and I. <laughs> just you and I can do a bunch of exposition, yeah, and the rest can like, just do so, all this. In fact, so in the morning, Cell so like is basically thrumming with energy. I hope that you all had very good night's sleep that were very uneventful, and that you're emotionally ready for what is going to be an intense morning. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, definitely. Go ahead. Uh, I get a super high bluff check. (laughs) (laughs) Sal isn't even checking. They are so excited. All right, so all that remains to do is to plug this wire into this wire. Now, if we are worried at all about intelligence spreading, or in fact, like not from us, but from Shawin, who we have to remember has part of the blue veins in the brain. So what we ask him may be stuff that is then aware. Yeah, we, we don't know what the division of knowledge between the two halves right, of the brain I mean, is. That half of the brain may be able to te- telepathically connect with the rest oh of the group. And remember he used to say, like, oh, uh, th- oh no, shut up, all of you. Like, he was talking to plural. Like, they were, they, like so maybe all these minds mm. were trying to get in contact with him. So I'm thinking... Would, would this apparatus still work if it was in the anti-magic field? Oh. I mean... It you would believe be, it would be so, less, but the yes. crackles. W- I mean, not really, because the the electric crackling would would not. But we'd still be able to do the talking because that mean, might you'd, you'd stop any. You'd be able any... to do the functional bit, but I. <laughs> I but that yeah, might stop okay. the the the. the... The telepathic if, if it's, connection. If it's a, yes, if it's a magical thing, yes. So we should put it in the anti-magic field. And also I was thinking that maybe we should, only the people that have already spoken to Shoin should speak to it. I haven't put any video feeds, so it can't see us. And so then the brain and the and the telepathic connections, if they're working, will not know about the rest. Everyone we, else. So yeah. the four of us who the Shoin's four of already us seen. talk, and we also don't give... Them any information about what's going on? Yeah, Barnes pipes yeah. up. You want to you want to convince him that he's still in the um, wherever you got him. That's a good idea. Yeah, yes, really good that's idea. a very good idea. We can we can tell him that that's no a good time plan. Has passed. I like, that's a good plan. Yeah, you yeah you your plan that you like. No 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 is... no. I mean keeping everyone else out of the loop. That's a good idea. Yeah. So mm-hmm. everyone else be like you, you write questions down, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, and then send it, and then we can write. Uh, Cell picks up the bulb. They are not strong, but they are. As Azu will help you if you, you need help. You will need a bit of help to navigate down narrow stairs and stuff. Then Azu helps you. Taking it to the... To me, to you. I need to, <laughs> ask, <laughs> to, you. I need to ask one question of Sally. Mm-hmm. It doesn't affect the timings or anything else. Mm-hmm. You have become aware through the working on it that mm-hmm. the ore basically houses an extremely nutrient-rich substance, mm-hmm. which <laughs> will be depleted eventually if mm-hmm. it's not renewed. Mm-hmm. For free, I will have allowed you to renew it Again, should you want or have chosen not to. Chosen not but to. Just I'm putting that on the table yeah. as a thing you know. Yep. Nice. Uh, I, I, I should point out that we have several levers over showing. Firstly, I have installed this vibration device, which I, I know is not painful, but will scare him because he will think that I can I can explode his brain. See? That and, is scary. Well, yes. <laughs> see? So I th- it torture, bad, but occasionally... Psychological torture, good. Yeah. Well, it's threatening. It's not... Look, fine. It's showing. Also, I, he's I horrible. I don't care. Yes. Uh, also, he he needs uh, or it or they or the group. Um, it's it's a complicated and English doesn't have enough pronouns for the sort of complicated things we're dealing with here. They need more nutrients. I know how to make more nutrients to to feed the brain. But uh, oh, like the the, the, the stuff the inside the ore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That broth. You can see it's a bit thinner well, now. If, than if it was. we want 
the brain to think that no time has passed? Well, Shouldn't we, should we put it, it back to how it was when we found it? That's a very good idea. Excellent work, Hamid. I will go to the kitchen and make horrible soup. Oh, right, I'm coming with you. I am going to skip past... Skip that. It's now. really easy. Yeah. Unless, it, like, it's, it's... unless Zolf wants to no, have I'm a not, deep conversation. I'm not, no, 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 not for that. I'm just very possessive of that kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, although your basically your broth supplies are depleted. Yeah. Anything that's iron rich. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm not getting it. I'm just like hovering slightly annoyingly. Mm, yeah. But I'm, I'm happy to have just done oh. that. Yes. <laughs> In which case, then, shall we jump cut to yep. you're all down in Absolutely. your anti-magic cell again? Yeah. But this time we don't have to stay there. It's true. The so door the is difference. open. Yes. All right. Is and it's just the four of you with no one else there. Well, everyone else is, I would assume, sort of at the trap door or below and can hear what's going on, but they're not going to say anything. Yeah, the yeah, idea I is mean, that only we talk, but everyone can hear. Uh, in that case, then, jumping back a bit, Barnes would have piped up. I mean, if you're afraid that the words are going to make people... You know, get infected in that. Is it a good idea to have make sure that none of us can hear it either? Look, we spoke to him and we didn't. Well, also, also it's the anti magic field. I mean, if the if the vector of infection is words, then it has to be magical words of some kind. All so right, fair enough. It shouldn't fair I enough. just? I mean, and it, it, wild. If for example, if you wanted to stand at the back of the room because if you have extra questions and you write them down and hand it to one of us mm. to ask, that could also work. As wild, a, wild steps in for the first time, has a f- faint glint and smirk of, I would not miss it for the world. As he grins at him. Wonderful, because from what I've heard, the world is literally at stake. So let's <laughs> go for this. It normally uh, is. And mm. uh, takes the two big wires. They are not crackling. It's, it's, with. Yeah. it's really disappointing. <laughs> and it plugs one into the other. Two things. Yep. One, Cell knows that it's working. Two, mm. nothing seems to happen. There's no boom, there's no crackle of lightning, there's no style or razzmatazz whatsoever. <laughs> if we weren't in that... Anti- oh, wait, I should... Um, uh, m- 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 Mr. Oh. Mr. Showing, ah, ah, you ah, know ah, me. Ah, ah, so you fell to my ploy, ah. and now, uh, ah, ah. so yeah. Maybe, it's, it's, maybe we should explain the situation to you, Mr. Showing. I don't need your explanations. I, I am in full pitch. Will you get up and do it? Get up. Mr. Mr. Showing, it's it's a lovely base that you've got here that we're inside, uh, but we... I think you will find it might be your grave. No, no, no. We've we've <laughs> defeated it. We've defeated you. You are now what? our prisoner, no, and no, we're no, questioning no, you. Shut up. No, <laughs> no. You Who haven't. are you telling to shut up? You shut. What? 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 Who are you talking no, to? No, no, not you. What? What? You? Who are you hey, talking yes, hello. to? Who are you talking to? What do you mean, who am I I'm talking to you? The other no, people. You're not. Who are the other people that you're talking to? Who are uh, you telling to shut up? I don't know who any of you are. Well, so, no, you, you know me. me. Shut, you know me, Showing. We met while you were in a body. Need a bit more. So. You kept sending people to try and. Destroy my village. Destroy but, their but, village. But long, Need a bit more. Be- long before that, I was the alchemist that was. Oh, that already had a shop. And then, and then you... You went, weren't one of the interns. You were one of the interns, were you? No, no, no. I, I have never been your intern. Oh. Anyway, Mr. Showing, we read your diary. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Uh, what, what? We read your diary. Ah, you, you, you found... Ha, ha. And did you decode it? Yes. Mm. Yeah. It was Fra- just Fra- written in Japanese. Yeah, Francois Henri oh, and all so that. Oh, so you haven't found the no. secret code. Fra- Francois Henri, power sources. Ah, ah, the you Kraken, you've, you've we turned, know all the Kraken you built. You turned yourself into a brain in a ball. <laughs> Beat your robot. A and then brawl. about six months ago, a cleric came along. Cleric, oh, shut up. Oh, so, what? 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 And the cleric had blue veins. Uh, oh, yeah. And you're infected. What? The blue veins, it's an infection. Oh, I think you'll find escape impossible. <laughs> shut up. Oh. And you've done something to yourself to stop it spreading. And you understand the infection. Oh, I understand many things. I understand you'll never make it out alive. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> Tell us about the infection, Shoeen. What infection? The infection that you've got in your brain. You severed half Apart from he- being a meanie. Yeah, you severed half a hemisphere of your brain off because that one's infected. You, I mean, you're half a brain now. Oh, right. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's a very easy procedure if you know what you're doing. Why did you do it? What do you mean, why did I do it? You did it. 
Why did you do it? Uh, what was the series of events leading up to it? Uh, uh, oh, yes, no. <laughs> and why would I tell you? Because we've won. Sell what was the ball? Uh, oh, oh no, I seem to be tripping up here. Stop, stop. Don't so, touch, oh don't, no, don't, don't uh, touch the orb. Oh don't dear, touch. oh shut, wobble, shut, wobble. Shut, shut, shut. Oh, stop it. It's quite, it's quite unpleasant, I think you'll find. You, you need to understand. How long have I been out? Oh, not, not very long. We've been busy. What did you do to the network? Uh, well, Disabled w- it. Which network is specifically? We've what broken the network. We've broken quite a lot of your stuff. Why? What? You did try to kill us quite I a lot. I did not try to kill you. Yes, you did. I, I enabled the means for you to die. No, you definitely tried to kill and then, me and, then and us. You came out in a metal body from the... Oh. Organ and 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 you you, you hit you us really several hurt. times it with really weapons. Hurt. You did you did a, and then we beat you. I'm very angry at you. We beat you and now you're our prisoner. Oh, and we've released all the kobolds and you know. we've completely destroyed oh. every aspect of your operation. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You need to understand the power up, relationship we've here. We've killed all your henchmen. You are literally a brain in a ball, and you are completely at our mercy. But, ah, I could just smash the orb if you wanted. Don't smash the orb. Yeah, I know, because you'd die, wouldn't you? Uh, mm. And you have no way to prevent us from doing that. Please, if for... you smash this orb, I, I would still be fine. No, you wouldn't. Forever. Really? No. Yes. Oh. All right, smashing the orb then. Off Don't I go. smash the orb. Why, why? <laughs> why? I thought you'd be fine. So I'll smash the orb. They'll, 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 they'll always be a showing. Really? That's the important bit. Well, what? Did you back yourself up? That's a good way. I'm taking that. Yes, mm. I backed myself up. I invented that. That's a phrase that I just made. Where where did you where did you where did you back your back up? Where is that? And and and, and why should I tell you? Oh, uh, mm, all the power I, stuff that Mr. Smith just told I, you. I, I I I spread myself out. Okay. Uh-huh. Distributed backups. I, important mm. thing, right? Though, if I smash this orb, you'll still be dead, though, won't you? There'll be another show in uh, somewhere. But that's not you, is with it? part of your personality and most of your memories. It's still not you, is it? This this line of perception you think in that's we've, gonna end. We've we've destroyed the network, so all those other places you are, they can't communicate with each other anymore. So they're not really doing so much. It's basically a bunch of just other people. Shut up. We turned the power off to everything. If that matters. Wait, wait, to wait, you. wait! Shut up! Shut up! No, no, no! Everyone, shut up! No. What did you do? T- turn it off. Took you out. You know, you're you're not. No, 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 no! It's quiet. What did you? Shut up. What did you do? What's quiet? It's quiet. We, it's we've got some anti-magic. The, the cleric or the network? Oh, this is nice. Huh. Right, yeah, okay. Hmm. Uh, what, what was your question? What are the other people that you've been telling to shut up? Hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. There, there was the... There, yes, there was a cleric, wasn't mm-hmm. there? Yeah. What do I get if I tell you things? Not smashed. What else do I get if I tell you more? Some nutrient broth. The continued gift of life. And I do say gift. <laughs> Cold in a brilliant way. <laughs> mm. We Tasty can help broth. you. We can help you against the infection that's taken over half of your brain. Oh, and I've got one. We won't unplug your speaker, so you won't be able to talk to us, but you'll still be able to hear us berating you and you'll be unable to respond. Ask, Forever. A- ask questions. Yeah. What is the thing that you've been... Or the people or, or, that you've been telling to shut up? The, what do they tell you? It's not... It's not words, uh, it's the, um, so it's the cleric won't, won't shut up, mm-hmm. but it has gone quiet, I don't know how, mm. or at least for a while. That may be something that we've managed, we've got some effects going on here, so, you know, if you're enjoying this... How did you do it? Uh, we're not going to tell you, but I'd like to know who the people are that you've been speaking to. Who's not the cleric, and what have they been telling you to do? What, what, I, what are their aims? I don't, it's not words, just the cleric won't shut up. Okay, well, translate. If it's not words, what are they sending? I don't... Are they screaming? Uh, are they trying to take control of you? Uh, he just continues in that mode for a little while. Can, can, I, can, can, I, can I paint it? Uh, uh. Yeah! Wait one second. I'm going to make a tiny robot arm. Don't worry, I've done this many times before. <laughs> Not a big one, because I don't want him to hit anyone. But, like, can 
Sell to a knowledge engineering check and take 20 to make a tiny robot arm, like an almost comedically tiny weak uh, robot arm. Technically speaking, you can't take 20, but you can take 10 and it's enough. Okay. For anyone who's listening at home, but yeah, yeah it's fine. Yeah. And it won't take you long because you have all of the components kicking yeah. around anyway. It's like a comedically tiny weak. Yeah, it's a little... It's a tiny arm, like about as big as a hand. Yeah, I'm imagining, hand. this is such a specific, specific reference, mm. when Bender gets broken and he gets a pair of tiny little hands. Yeah, and then puts a soft calligraphy brush. It hand. immediately starts drawing. Mm. Immediately starts drawing. Showin doesn't seem to have noticed. Mm. Okay. Mm. Some automatic painting. So he's there like, hey, hey, don't, don't, don't shut up, ask a better question. It's a stupid question for stupid people. Ask me smart questions for a smart person. What did you do with the Krakens? Did they cause the weather stuff? <laughs> oh, you like those, did you? I yes, did actually, I bet yeah. you would. As he is continuing, by the way, the picture that is taking shape on the other side is highly abstract. Ugh. Oh, like the stuff in the tunnel. And it seems vaguely reminiscent, actually, of the circulatory diagrams that you were seeing earlier. It's clearly a network that is being drawn out on the piece of paper. And then when it runs out of paper, he flips it. And then he starts sketching what is best described as a scene. However, the way he's drying is extremely weird in that he's doing it the way printers work, top to bottom, oh. left, right, mm. not yep. sketching mm. from top, like, depth of field. So while this conversation is going on, mm -hmm. so something's different, I will be quietly feeding paper. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> and in terms of the, the scene that it is depicting... It starts with what best can be described as, like, loads and loads of faces yelling. Oh. And so, yeah, oh, with the crackers, oh, you see, the trick the trick with them is how do you get a signal underwater? Oh. It's tricky. It's that tricky. is, that is what, actually what, very what tricky. Yeah. It's what the height's for. So if, oh. if you use the combination of the height and then we use the modified power source, mm -hmm. oh, yeah no idea what he's doing there but it's clever enough is that you can mess around with it and you can modify it but the thing is mm -hmm. is that that, that, that that door goes both ways mm -hmm. as he's continuing the, mm -hmm. the, the picture finishes and then he draws more and you start recognising that it is a image of London mm -hmm. um, and it is the creepiest charcoal sketch you can imagine mm -hmm. where I want you to imagine a charcoal sketch of Parliament mm -hmm. on a busy crowded street where everyone is staring at the person who is drawing and their mouths are open. This is so Magnus. Invasion of the body snatchers. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, it's underneath Parliament. What is this? Ah, it's Guy Fawkes was behind it all along. And though I don't like doing this, we're going to have to end an episode there on just a, a bleak and terrifying image with an interrogation that barely got going. Done. Yeah. Done. That's all right. Done. We've got lots of time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that none of the images mean anything no. and that he just got bored and I wanted to draw some things. It never crossed my mind that the infection might be really painful. Like, I can't, this is oh, horrifying. Why would, yep. you, why would you start with that? And on that note, <laughs> bye! bye. <laughs> Rusty Quill Gaming is a podcast distributed by Rusty Quill and licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution non-commercial sharealike 4.0 international license. Today's episode was directed by Alexander J. Newell and produced by April Sumner. To subscribe, buy merchandise, or join our Patreon, visit rustyquill.com. Rate and review us online, tweet us at the Rusty Quill, visit us on Facebook, or email us via mail at rustyquill.com. Join our community on the Discord via the website or on Reddit at r slash rustyquill. Thanks for listening. common denominator for my own life and I so you know You're sometimes so cockney you... suddenly yeah sorry <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yeah there we go Wild starts to read the letter to all of you <laughs> Lydia <laughs> Lydia <laughs> Lydia <laughs> played that one cool didn't you hi everyone Alex here I'd just like to take a moment to thank some of our patrons Elena Royce Shane Kelly, Grackles, Anonymous Sky, Laney J, Jzim D, Oatmeal Addiction, Deirdre Pitts, Andreas Evans, Disaster, Lovro, Sardia, Megan Linger, Billy, Rowan De Lacey, Gil, Zatalis, Woodspurge, Red.
Erin Sellis, James Curry, TJ Hoffer, KP Wilson, Zoe Schroeder, Charlie Wall, Shannon McHugh, Taylor Ashmore, Lou, Mitch Paveo, Sagey Bug, Josephine Hoar, Azaria Serpens, Bonnie Phillips, Dwarven Bread Spores, Bex, Qualish, Jax Wells, Twisted Sight, Elizabeth Legant, Agnieszka Shoaucha, Ben Enns, Libby Broom, Elise Walker, Faith Gillespie, Kathleen Parham, Pansy Thoughts, E. Herself, Tartha Jedrill, Shona Hunter, Coashelt, Goon Squad, M. Transrights Kavana, The Far Unlit Unknown, Yolanda George, Lady C, James Brown, Savannah Whiteford, Casper Wright, Sky Martucci, Chris Cobzina, Plum177, Victoria Marmaleo, Gloaming Wang, Bree Newman, Nicholas Indrisano, Natasha Pastore, Colleen R, M. Fedorchuk, Pasha, Dave J. Bowman, Ari P, Michelle Elbert, Emma Adler, Joe, Mary, Liam Como, Illicit Tangent, Twisted Sardonic, Jennifer Thurgate, Fee Nguyen, Micah Goldstein, Charlie Erie, Gabriel Hawke, Chiara Lorraine, Alex Daigle, Melissa Sage Dumont, El Sparrow, Alexis Costello, Rogue Kind, Loser Lord, Paul Ruger, Wolf in the Woods, Teresa Nelson, Hannah Driggs, Pickuck, Alice Segura Ardotia, and Atlas. Thank you all. We really appreciate your support. If you'd like to join them, go to www.patreon.com forward slash rustyquill and take a look at our rewards.